And now to present our next award, please welcome to the stage, Chairman and CEO of Kitson and Partners, Sid Kitson. Hello everyone, it is uh, my pleasure to present the most prestigious athletic awards of the night. The Athlete of the Year Awards recognize accomplishments that transcend individual sport. These awards highlight the extraordinary achievements of our athletes and the work that led to their success. We will start our News Press Girls Athlete of the Year Award uh, presented by uh, Babcock Ranch and we're thrilled to be a part of this event. You know, we looked at all the young women nominated here tonight to find the one who represents teamwork, tenacity, spirit, and strength. This athlete entered her career undoubtedly the greatest girls basketball player to come out of Lee County. The University of South Carolina signee became the county's first female McDonald's All-American after averaging 15.5 points, 5.1 rebounds, 6 assists, 3.3 steals per game, and leading her team to its third consecutive state championship and fourth state, uh, straight state final four appearance. She is a three-time News Press Player of the Year and the 2018 Florida Gatorade Player of the Year. The bar she set may never be reached again by a girls basketball player. And the winner is Destiny Henderson, Fort Myers. And now for the News Press Boys Athlete of the Year Award. As with the girls, this award recognizes our athletes' persistent drive towards excellence. We looked at all the phenomenal boy athletes here tonight, and through, though very difficult, uh, we have selected a winner. This athlete left the athletic program better than he found it after transferring there two years ago. With freakish athleticism and leadership, he led the program to its first ever state championship basketball game. He averaged 17.6 points, seven rebounds, and 4.3 assists a game. In track and field, he went from never having high jumped in two years to winning two state championships in the event. His best championship winning leap earlier this month was six feet, seven and a half inches. He also placed third in the long jump. And the winner is Barrick Jean Lewis. And now to present our Naples Daily News Boys and Girls Athlete of the Year Awards, please welcome back to the stage, Amy Osher. You like that we have two sports writers named Adam here tonight, isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> so now we're gonna look at the phenomenal athletes out of Naples. The CenturyLink is proud to present Naples Daily News Girls Athlete of the Year. We have some stellar young athletes, and it was a challenge to choose one out of the many deserving young women here tonight. As a sophomore this year, our winner was an all-area in two sports. She was the girls' cross-country runner of the year after winning a district championship and placing third at state. In track, she advanced to state in the 1600 and was on the 4x800 team that won district and regional titles. And the winner is... Jillian Dempsey, Naples High.
Hi. Um, I'd like to thank my parents and Coach Watkins and Coach Harrelson and my amazing 4x8 team and all the other coaches and teachers at my school who were very inspirational for me. <laughs> this is my flight song. Take back my life song. Prove Our final award of the night is the Naples Daily News Boys Athlete of the Year presented by CenturyLink. As stated before, this is a high honor as we look for an athlete that exemplifies talent, hard work, and determination. And we believe we found such an athlete. After finishing state runner-up as a freshman, our winner captured a Class 2A wrestling championship this season at 182 pounds. In football, the sophomore linebacker had 98 tackles, including a team-high 13.5 tackles for loss and was honorable mention all area. And the winner is Colby Singletary, Palmetto Ridge. Um, I don't really have much to say. I just wanna thank my mom and my dad and my coaches, Blaine, and yeah, that's it. Thank you.